the answer. I spoke to school solicitors and all agree the state's Disease Prevention and Control Act does give the health secretary authority to issue a school mask mandate. While solicitors see some issues, ignoring the mandate is not one of them. Those school districts that have disregarded an order such as an order from the Department of Health, I think open themselves to the significant liability. School solicitor Matt Mangino says, if a child, for example, died of COVID because a school ignored the mandate, school officials and even district taxpayers could be on the hook without insurance. Often communicable diseases and especially uh, COVID-19 have been exempt from insurance coverage. But Mangino says the mask mandate order is confusing. For example, there's an exception requiring a school to, quote, provide reasonable accommodations for individuals who state they have a medical condition, mental health condition, or disability that makes it unreasonable for the person to maintain a face covering. That order does not say that you need to have a medical documentation of a medical condition or, or some disability. It says that an individual states. Another problem, the order requires schools to enforce the mandate without explaining how. In fact, one section specifically says, quote, a school entity should not restrain, use force, or physically remove teachers, children, students, staff, or visitors who refuse to comply with this order. The student comes to, to school without a mask and says, well, you know, I'm here to learn. I'm, I'm going to my classroom and goes down and sits in, in the algebra class. A, an administrator, a, a teacher, a school resource, resource officer cannot go in there and physically remove that student from the classroom. I reached out to the health department for their response, but no one was available to talk. They repeated that the failure to comply could subject school officials to both personal liability and penalties. John Delano, KDKA News.